Hey guys, it's Tom with the SS Motion where you'll look at the last two Spring 2015 Call of Duty sets and these are troop packs. So let's jump straight in because these troop packs are epic. Okay, so firstly we have the Covert Ops unit and this unit is absolutely epic. We get four figures and Riley in urban camouflage which is really cool. One of the figures we get is wearing some form of riot helmet so a lot of people are theorizing that this might actually be a Federation soldier, which would be cool to see. Then we have a figure with the same mask as Elias. So this is probably a not Logan, which is epic. We have Riley, as I've mentioned previously. We have a figure with a beanie in the ghost paint. So although not named, this is again a not named Hesh. And we also have a figure up top in night vision goggles with a black and green RPG, which is epic. I'm really glad we're seeing the RPG in a cheap set as you can only build a lot of that thing now which is really cool. We also get a nice little catwalk which I think is good. If you were to buy multiples of the set you'd probably be able to build quite a cool catwalk which would be a nice idea to do maybe when this set goes on sale. You also get a nice variety of weapons, an LMG, a pistol, an AK and a RPG. And one nice thing I noticed with this set is the AK actually uses the stock of the M4. So that's nice, Mega are actually experimenting with different weapon combinations themselves, which is something which is really, really nice to see. Okay, so now taking a look at the Icarus Troopers pack, you can see we get a bunch of astronauts, and we get two US astronauts, possibly three. We're not sure if the guy at the back with the black visor is going to be US or Federation, although he looks as if he'll match the US style colour scheme. And we also get two Federation soldiers in the green cream, sorry, colour light astronaut suit with the golden visor. <laughs> have no idea how I said green there, but there you go guys. We also get an SMG, an M4, a suppressed SMG, an AK-47, and a sniper rifle, so they look very cool indeed. You get some nice accessories. It's cool to see a sniper, although it's convenient when used in space, it kind of does make me think, would it be convenient to use a sniper rifle in space? Probably not, but there you go. We also do get a nice little satellite piece, which looks really cool, and that's just a nice little aesthetic piece which you can go uh, and display with Odin. On the subject of Odin, we'll have a review out of that very soon. Okay, so we're not sure what the base plate for this will be, and we're not sure how many translucent display rods it will contain, but whatever it is, it's really cool to get the astronauts in a nice cheap set. Alright guys, so that's it for the Call of Duty Spring 2015 packs. These are the last two things we're getting, a total of four sets I believe it is, the other two have been previewed on our page and channel earlier in the month, but apart from that they are a lot of definitely cool things and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the two troop packs in particular to be able to bring you reviews on them as soon as possible, so look forward to those in the new year and until then guys have a great week and remember to get your entries into the Christmas Toymation competition. I would like to tell you guys that you can actually enter a Call of Duty toy animation as well. So I'm really excited to see if any of you guys come up with that. Until the next time guys, this is Tom with the SS Motion signing off. Stay safe and have a good one.